as he mowed around the edge of the field, around the sign, he, he noticed something white in the edge of the woods, and he stopped and looked, and it was a skull. Each year, 600,000 people go missing, and 4,400 unidentified remains are recovered across the U.S. They didn't have a name for 20 years. No one knew who they were. These cold cases are rarely a priority. Skeletal remains end up at medical examiner's offices where they sit in boxes, in storage closets, often for years, gathering dust as evidence slowly disappears. In this podcast, we'll meet the families of the missing. She vanished literally from her home. Their families don't have any idea what happened to them. There is nothing worse than the unknown. It's just not knowing where your kid's at. It's almost like I feel like I'm drowning and I can't breathe, but I never get to die. That's what it feels like. You're not giving up though? No, no way, no way. Uh, to my last breath. We'll take you into the lab with scientists who are dedicating their lives to matching missing people, to the bones in the boxes. You know, you're actually holding a human head in your hand. I think the first time I did it, I was probably a little freaked out. They uncover clues from remains to piece together how an unidentified person was murdered. Okay, so I have various types of hammers, hand saws, crowbars, because we've had people had a crowbar to the head, axes, hatchets, machetes, yeah. Using the most cutting edge forensic science and technology in the hopes of finding answers and sometimes justice for the thousands of families whose loved ones simply disappeared. To connect these unidentified remains with missing persons. For the family, it's everything. This is what they struggled and, and suffered through for years to get them to some point of closure that's the goal. No matter how grim the process or the outcome. Just the satisfaction of being able to unravel something that somebody tried so hard to hide at some point. You know, somebody didn't get away with murder and you helped do that. And sometimes that work, it pays off. He said, we found your sister. And I was like, whoa. From WREL Studios, this is What Remains connecting unidentified human remains to the missing and the murdered. I'm Amanda Lamb. Subscribe to What Remains wherever you listen to podcasts.